Arts now. And Mike Irwin here in the of this, we have some sad news to talk away at the age of. I just want to take a look at some of the. At Arkansas. just absolutely insane sick of ncaa indoor titles from he was national coach of the year third coaching honors just any sport i think and mike's about john mcdonald and what he was able to do at arkansas I used to visit with him a lot. Like I'd go over to his office in, in how are you doing this? What is your and got to know him really, really well. First conference championship where we coaches wired and we did that. And uh, it was great drama, great star of the show. Yeah. He was in the motivated people in different events, and he'd be talking with one in their, in their heads, and they'd know what event was. <laughs> oh, it looks like he's going to get six, not eight. to know him so well and I, I do for 30 years at the University of Arkansas but I've, I've done all I can do for the school family and so he had 12 13 years farm ranch in eastern Oklahoma Ireland so he got to spend Guy that spent a lot of it, a time away from it. His retirement. We actually have some at, at what he had to say. One coach. It's the whole of Arkansas. When I asked for help. And the faculty and staff were absolutely so. Going into naming anybody that was particular, I mean, singly, so in, individual or company, and that would be where it is today, but for them. And, and got $3 million. And that's what helped us, the, the country and the world. And the people of Arkansas, you, it was always a pleasure, no matter what, and appreciated what I did. World. It's, it's kind of a, um, talk to people at a, uh, I have a brother that travels was in London uh, by six Arkansas track and field shorts on them. We could get track and field that be, we'd be known be Kenya or Melbourne, Australia. Respect Arkansas track and field.
think it's safe to say that that he definitely well, he started off you know his first big because he he grew up in county mayo had there you just ran everybody ran western louisiana and he was a national aau got out of when he left i think he was out of sports and then he decided i'm back in the northeast country was a relatively new door track guy they'd at that point they had so that if you're bringing these athletes in or track is in the winter indoors and then was more of an outdoor track guy coaching these distance runners so he brought He supplemented his income as a shop team. Years and Ed knew how good John was. Retire. You need to hire this. Frank called him. In. That he said he took a coach with. years of that and he put me in charge than me and uh, knows that he had we're talking yeah. late 70s early 80s you didn't have all on live gate attendance money baseball didn't they sort of broke And so Frank always had to be a penny pincher when it came. Actually, uh, it was died. I met John that time was off on Razorback Road, and we yeah. did. Norm said Norm was talking about. worry about that and John said are you kidding two or three national championships and I didn't family income says well you got Oregon came along and offered me a lot Mecca of the country yeah a substantial raise and he turned it And they offered him a whole lot of money. A lot. Forced me, his wife, to go in. Said, I loved it here. My family loved it here. And, and I, I tell him that or feel like I can turn him down again if I don't get. All right, you got your damned raise now. On voice, <laughs> right? Because that's the way he told. Them. There was a little bit of adversarial the standpoint, but John still. When the money started coming in, issue when he. All these things that he talked in, in, in the south, in the in the islands out there that were, were athletes, and he went and got a guy named Frank O'Mara, who eventually. But when Frank first got to our Frank. 
uh, John always told me because I told him one time I was going to. Hopefully, he stuck around. <laughs> and Frank really then became. He became a leader in the locker room. Not just to success, but to. Championships. We won that first championship, a conference. The upperclassmen that had been a part of at least before I did, yeah. they would meet with how we do things here. You're not going to go out. You're going to stay after workouts. This is much more intense than it is these guys were having. I had to show. I, and I've long since forgotten who it was, but I knew whatever you, you've got here. We're talk to him, and John said, "No, you talk. Talk to him, and you can't get through to him. You can do that on my recommend. Yes, if I." And he's not doing it. Yes, I will. I will just call. I went back, told the other upperclassman guy, because it's now their responsibility. Yeah. That's that whole thing got started. Not true. Right. But it was certain. Early successes. Then his recruiting. into other parts of Europe. Arkansas has had athletes from all they are, where they're from and track association gets known and that's why you see and John's right it, it expanded yeah. You have some video as yeah, first thing talk about possible legacy for anybody to try to most unique person. I the humility that coach people became track fans in Arkansas. or wherever the stands would stand up him he said on the stage that he and do with his success here on he had the, the athletes athletes he had to give some just Wanted to be, have a chance to be a recruit a lot of great athletes. He got a lot of athletes to walk, and therefore he had the numbers to be competitive. Team effort, everything that he did, or whatever. It, it was a team effort. What he did. More often because average track team, all you and so you're trying to win for yourself. Whatever you're doing, whether it's fourth, fifth, and the um, and there's ten thousand. And most athletes wouldn't have cared. The team was the most important thing. And he. Video that, that we found. From 
integrity that that coach he, you know he just did it right mm -hmm. and and he and become successful after school businessman he's a multi-million or track uh, complex to develop Thing is they're both going up at the same time. They couldn't have been. He did encourage these guys, hey, championship to go out and become champions. How John made people buy in. 12 straight indoor track championships. Yep. 12 of those years. They won some. And in one in particular, I remember they leave for this meet, and I'm in a national championship. If this if this happens, can't win it. I said, "What?" And the times we have in this event and that event. think they're capable of for us string is going to be broken and I think it was at six or got back I was like what in the world <laughs> went in and started talking to some of the guys and told me this story he said look at each athlete that was <laughs> and he would say, you've got to get four points. And you need six points, you know. And six points in, in the 1,500. And yeah. we, we're expecting him to come in and just he came in and he said, guys, we're not going to have the normal talk. Here. He said, I'm satisfied that all of you have Many people qualified as as we had. And no, you just this this. It's no disgrace. You, I would be angry if you didn't. Of you, but you've done it. So I'm. And the guy said, "You know what happened." He thinks we're not as good as those other guys. <laughs> Underclassmen, and he's telling me that now. Oh, and so we did our own version. We went around to score six. You got to get eight, including one guy that they said. Dance. Wow. You got a seven or. You know, Suddenly we looked around and we won it. And he said, to yell at us, yep. not to not to him, but we just weren't good enough. Yeah, light the fire. He would normally do to get these. Uh, so those championships, they, they weren't. when they shouldn't have mm -hmm. and that man that knew how to motivate same approach with everybody right he said if i did that mm -hmm. we wouldn't win anything yeah he said one guy wouldn't work with another guy it's one of them yeah it's also kind of like what you Sure, that was a big part of it. Yeah. All right, well, um, from uh, McDonald. So let's today they have. They say it's a sad day in some ways. 
you have some years because you you really devoted for YouTube. Oh yeah, I mean, uh, especially even the young kids, you know. That's and uh, but uh, I'm sure they're there right now and. Uh, He knows that you're not going to let him, you show his titles, you know, it doesn't matter what the sport is, you got to. Well, this is going to be your last SEC, is coming up your last. Gosh, I'm going to take the big whip out. If, if we stay healthy, we have shot. We'll find one. I need. I need another door. Are you feeling good physically? Yes. Yes, I'm feeling. Uh, I recovered. No. Uh, between that and that, uh, you know, the uh, years. I mean, how long have you been contemplating? This? Uh, two and a half. Yeah. Well, Rank, I said, yeah. I need, it's time to get out. It's a lot to, uh, uh and it's time for, Every single weekend, because I coach cross country. Just endless, you know. Well, United States first, or even the city you fly in, and you the West. I'd like to see the West and go out to Alaska. And I've been up there, but just to. I, I don't, I let somebody else out. Talking to all the former athletes, has always been so strong. Yes, and uh, yeah, just one athlete, one, one. Because I'd work for program. Because when you win, it was the only thing that hurt me a little bit. Process is ongoing. Do you have any regrets about that? Well, it, it's, it is what it is now. You know, yeah. for, for them to make up their minds. You know, with the administration, with the athletes, work and things like that. Well, you know, I, uh, parents have work done intelligently, and I was. Uh, Because kids, that we call them kids, but they're men, and, and the kids like that. They don't like to be to this point. I never did that. The uh, conference titles, but you're saying that this is going to continue the success because of. That is so renowned. I mean, built and is built now. The best in the world, and the out. Now, what has to be done is just keep.
He's going to do that. He's, he's, believe me, he's not a hard worker. And I think... Uh, And it's really cool listening to that. You kind of from everyone on social media today is by Arkansas fans. Not just a really great person all around. Yeah, there was many. Somebody that joked around a lot. Yeah. But I remember <laughs> we had him watch before a meet and tells everybody. And he's talking, and he's going, okay, 25 points. And he was just going point points. <laughs> and there was dead silence. Looking around like, like huh? What? And he goes. <laughs> it's a joke. <laughs> and then they all started. He decided to make a joke. They, it kind of <laughs> Again, one of those programs where we had him wired up for something. Uh, field events coach wired up. But you get six throws. Well, he doesn't. It means that throw is invalid. Yeah. He's mad. It's enough to get in. But yeah. he. Hey. enough guys so you could throw it one <laughs> in other words don't touch that again <laughs> just getting very serious and he's looking at the sh he, he goes he did that and I go yeah <laughs> <laughs> so. Out something this just this morning that I never four months off and on. Mm -hmm. Delauded, and it will really, really there or whatever. Wow! And she, you of a person that came by. What was going on? Yeah, he, he could see that. And then oh. he left, and I she okay. she said yes. It was one of those days. So it, wow! It was just an incredible. And in, in we're going to be talking about John McDonald. And okay, so hopefully everyone can tune in. Facebook. So that's going to wrap us up. Thanks for watching this Pig Trail Nation report.